Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you a couple of ways to increase the speed of your iTunes on your Windows device. It is a known fact that Windows iTunes is slower than an iTunes running on Mac, so today we're going to be showing you how to fix that and make it run a lot smoother. So firstly we can disable unnecessary services. To do this we're going to go to Edit, Preferences, and then go to Advanced, and we're going to go to Devices. And if your iTunes is paired with any remotes, what you can do is deselect any of them because that takes up a lot of space and RAM. Another thing you can do is remove smart playlists. Now smart playlists are any of these with the cogs on the side here. So 90s music, I don't really listen to this ever. So if I go ahead and right click and delete it, it will actually speed up a lot of things. So I can del delete a couple of them and that will help it run a lot quicker. Another thing we can do to speed up the process is to disable Genius. To do this, we just have to click on the Store button here, and we're going to make sure Turn on Genius is displayed, which means that if I click it, it will turn it on, but it's currently turned off. Another really big thing that can help is to turn off cover flow. Although it looks beautiful and I can see all these beautiful pictures, it does take up a lot more space. If we just go to songs, then it will work a lot faster and we can still see all of the information about the songs. Another way to speed up iTunes is to delete any duplicate files or of any of the files you don't listen to or don't need. So if I just select something I don't need and click on delete, then it will speed up things because it has a lot less to process. Another way we can speed things up is to reduce clutter in the organization up here. We can actually right click on this bar. We can actually add or remove different types of organizational sorting. So if I don't really want to see the genre, I can deselect that and it will just save up some space. If you have quite a bit of music like I do, it can be hard to find actual songs. So it's very important that you organize everything into playlists and I just have different genres and such and other playlists. So it's a really good way to keep things organized and running faster on your end of things. Another way is to select certain options on our device itself. So when you plug in your device and go down to options when you select it, make sure these are all deselected unless you want to manually manage your music and videos. But if we deselect sync with this iPod over Wi-Fi, it won't take any more space on iTunes because that does take a lot of energy for iTunes to do that. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Those are just a few ways to increase the speed of iTunes on your Windows computer.